What's up, everybody? This is Stephanie Dawkins from DelawareBlack.com, and we are here with the amazingly handsome, talented Mr. Noel Gordy. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. I am great. Thank you so much again for visiting our state. I just want to ask you a few questions. I know you've got to go sound check and got some stuff to do. So I want to ask you a couple of questions. In earlier interviews, I was listening on, and you said that you don't have any children yet. But when that time does come, what is the legacy that you want to leave for your children? A legacy that I want to leave for my children. Let me see. I want to. Um, I want to be the best person that I, I, I can. Um, first and foremost, the best man. Um, teach them respect. Um, honor those that um, came before them, that laid legacies and laid uh, formats and things, and uh, 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 laid privileges. You know, able to put their. A lot of people laid their lives down, and I want to let them know that a lot of people laid their lives down for the privileges that they're living. Um, as far as um, being the best daddy that I can be, is just trying to teach them things that they, you know, they can't learn in the streets. You know what I mean? Certain things that uh, I was taught, um, morals and fiber and things of that nature, and just how to be the best person that you can be, you know, and, and realize what your blessings are. I think that's a, that's a great, great answer. So you've traveled around, What's some of your favorite places that you've been able to see, whether it's been through entertainment, whether it's been through vacationing, what's some of your favorite places? I have to say, one from New Orleans, um, mom was down there for essence, so it's always great to, to feel the electricity, especially what that city has been through. Um, New Orleans is great. I always love going to Los Angeles, um, not just because it's one of my um, biggest markets, but because it's like a melting pot of, of people and uh, you know, uh, cultures. And uh, what I do, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of talent that comes together. Um, New York is great, but around here, uh, you know, the Delaware, the Philly, the, the whole you know, DC, Baltimore, and all that, the old DMV, people really get it. And it's, it's so, that soul is all around here. So, you know, this is one of my favorite places. I'm sure you're just not saying that. You, you really love us. You really, really love us. Absolutely. Okay, so you travel around, you give your message and explain your message that you want to leave for your children. Give us some of your song titles, just for, for people that are not familiar. Give us some of your song titles and, and really what, where it came from. Where did the song title come from? Where did the song come from? You talked about your writing process earlier. Where, really the heart of you, give us those song titles. Well, let me see. One, I mean, I have to start off with the river. The river is all about, you know, that, that sacred place, that love, it's that new age, midnight train in Georgia. Um, realizing where you're coming from and not forgetting um, about that true love uh, that you want to recapture. Uh, going back to your, um, you know, days that you, you really think back on when you were growing up and things of that nature. Uh, we have one love in our first album. It's just, um, this is all about seizing that one special love that you had. My papa always said you can have that one special love in your life. Um, even though I had fell, fallen in and out of love about four or five times, but he said there's always that one that you think about. Um, you know, and that's just about taking the next step in, in, in the relationship and not uh, taking for granted what you have. Um, you have that better man just trying to become the best man that I can be day by day. Um, and that's what I was just talking about, the moral fiber that you grow up with and that is instilled in you uh, from a young age. Um, a new album, let me see, brand new. It's, it's my most, it's my favorite record on it. Before we even talk about the song titles on the new album, so I've read the name of the album, Fresh, the definition. So you you have the definition. What's that, what's that about? I mean, tell, tell, I'm curious to know. I mean, after what I went through uh, with Sony and, and how our relationship broke down after having a number one record with Billboard, you know, I, I just started thinking about Fresh, and it's like that renewal, and that rejuvenation, and that reblossoming, you know. Uh, coming, it's, it's my second coming. It's almost like my redemption story, you know, with the whole Fresh thing. And then uh, Courtney Harrell, who was on one of the albums, uh, one of my records on the new album, Fresh and Definition, and she pretty much said, you know, you're, pretty, you're, you're talking about the whole definition of fresh, so why don't you just do a semicolon with the definition? I was like, yeah, that's it. I mean, we didn't have to think about it, you know, fresh and definition, which just stuck. So, um, you know, it's it, it pretty much my redemption story, and, and uh, just 
coming back and um, I have been gone for a couple of years and people, you know, welcome me to the open arms and the um, My brand new is, is probably my, my favorite. It's like brand new secondary title, um, Name Fresh. And that's the title track and it just happens to be my favorite. It's what I really, the one first record I started writing when I was going back into the studio and um, writing for this album. And, it's just all about, you know, you're not done until you're going to cause you home. It's, it's like, you know, you're falling out of, uh, maybe you don't have enough money in your pocket with your job. You, you just got heart, your, your heart is broken by your um, relationship. And, you know, it, keep striving because it's, it's not over. You know, um, the, sun, the, the sun doesn't come before the rainfall. So you need that rainfall to wash away all the sorrows and you know all of that, the tears and everything, for you to become and, and know what your blessings are, and that's going to bring you every morning. So that record right there, I love it. Bring that beautiful speaks for itself. It's it's all about trying to get that respect uh, due to our women because y'all y'all have it rough, you really do. Um, you know, it, it, this is all about harking back to that old fashioned respect for each other. So y'all don't get it enough on the airwaves, and I'll just try to bring it back a little bit. Um, and it, it, yeah, it's just a testament that people want to hear something new um, and something like that because I'm um, in the shot to the top of the building, you know. Um, so, um, you know, it's just, it's just all about just trying to relate with people and, and grabbing their ear and not letting up because uh, people still listen to my first album after my time and uh, they still listen to the Trust and Definition that came out earlier this year. So, you know, it's a testament that people want to hear something new and something like that for the same time. Listen, I can talk to you all day. I can sit on this couch and just let you just talk and I just sit here. But I, you can't too. Let's just let me get another. another <laughs> no, you got work to do. <laughs> you definitely got to go to work and perform it tonight. You're here in Delaware. Celebrations at Market. You're going to be performing. Thank you. Thank you for the music. Thank you for beautiful. Thank you for just being you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Definitely. So where can we find you at? Um, I'm all about follow-up. I'm all about keeping up with people. So where can we find you at? Whether it's your Twitter, whether it's your Facebook, your website. Where can people find you at? Facebook, you can hit me up. I'm, I have two pages. I have a, a band page and I have a personal page. And I work for both. Um, they're both at Noel Gordy, N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N. And uh, Twitter is the same thing. It's N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N. So I answer them and I, I work them myself. So, you know, I, I take pride in that in being able to get you know, uh, converse with my friends. Awesome. Thank you so much and many blessings on your journey. Thanks.